Hey everybody, it's December 2021, and you know what that means, another December video. Sit back, relax, and we're going to jump right into my Compaq LTE 5300 video. Let's do it. For those that have been watching my channel for a while, probably remember seeing this Compaq LTE 5300 back in July 2021 with my pickups, trades, and donations video where I briefly showed this laptop. This laptop was a gift from Chris of Retro Tech Chris on YouTube. Link in the description to his channel. If you're not subscribed to RetroTech Chris, you should definitely do that, especially if you like DOS and Windows gaming and computers and hackery. He does all kinds of cool stuff with wireless and printers and networking and just cool stuff. So check out RetroTech Chris's channel. Again, link in the description. So this laptop you see here has a new old stock screen installed, which was actually done by Chris. Back in June 2021, I believe it was the 11th, he did a stream, a live stream, titled LTE 5300 NOS Display. And I have a link to that video also in my description to where you can watch him install the screen on this exact laptop. It was shortly after he did that install that he gifted this laptop to me. So Chris, thank you again for this amazing DOS laptop. And he also included, before I forget, a wireless network card. It is a Cisco AeroNet 350. And when you watch his channel, you'll see him do all kinds of cool stuff with this wireless card and the Compaq LTE 5000 series computers, which are his favorite machines. And again, you'll see that on his channel. What else can I tell you before we turn this bad boy on? Um, it did come with the floppy drive, the 1.44. It has a, where the battery would go, but this is empty. The batteries were dead, so Chris pulled out the, the, da the dead NICAD cells in there. And I have parts on order to rebuild that and actually have this with a working battery. He also included an aftermarket AC adapter charger, which I have since passed on to another retro computer friend. Reason being is I tracked down a legit compact charger and there's the part number specs on there. Pause if you need to, if you wanna track one of these down. I found this on eBay over the past six months or so. I'm sure there are more on eBay. Um, I also have acquired a CD-ROM drive for this. Not DVD, just CD-ROM, so music CDs, picture CDs, and data CDs. And you can just hot swap out the uh, floppy drive and put in the CD-ROM drive, so that is pretty cool. And then I also plan on upgrading the hard drive that is in it. It is a mechanical drive. It is a 1.3 gigabyte drive, I believe, with this IDE to compact flash adapter. And that will be in an upcoming video at some point, probably in the new year. So this machine, it is a Pentium 133, 48 megabyte of RAM, color screen, DOS, Windows 3.1, Windows 95, etc. Before I turn on the machine, I do want to put on camera here the nice letter that I got from Chris along with this laptop. So let me see if I can get this to come up like Star Wars style. I won't read it, but you can See it on screen, pause if you would like. So again, Chris, thank you very much. Um, let's see what I can read on the letter. I will read. Uh, so it is a Pentium 133. It's got the 1.3 gigabyte hard drive, so I was right. It's uh, the Pentium 133, DOS, Windows 3.1.1, and Windows 95, and the new old stock screen. Again, video in the description for you to check that out. All right, enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna adjust the camera angle here and we're gonna turn on the machine. 
All right, here we go. Let's turn it on. It's booting up. It's going to come up with a cool little boot screen where you can pick DOS or Windows or Windows 95. I'm going to let it go into just DOS. Cool little menu system that Chris put on here. I'll pop up here in just a second. Starting MS DOS. It'll ask if I want network support or not. And for now, no. We'll let it time out and just go right into the menu. So here is the menu that he set up. And it is MiniWorks 2.10. And he customized it to say Sean's Retro Compact LTE 5300. The date and time is not correct. I do not believe this computer is Y2K compliant. If you know, let me know in the description or if there's something that I can do. I have tried to set the date to the year 2021 because that's the year it is right now. And it did not like it. I, I can, of course I can set the time, but yeah, the date, it doesn't seem to like uh, anything over the year 2000. So that leads me to believe it's not Y2K compliant. All right, so on this menu, we've got uh, the things that people care about. Games, Windows 3.1.1, Exit to DOS. And we're going to just go ahead and go into the games. Hit Enter. And you'll see on here, we've got some games loaded. Wolfenstein 3D, Commander Keen, Goodbye Galaxy, Frogger, Jeopardy, Megapede, Secret of Monkey Island. Rick, if you're watching, Secret of Monkey Island, your favorite game. Pac-Man, Card Sharks, Death Rally, Flying Tigers, Lemmings, which is a super fun game, one of my favorites, and Hocus Pocus. So what I'm going to do is let's go down to hmm, Secret of Monkey Island. And this is DOS versions of these games. Hopefully it's picking up the sound for you. Lucasfilm Games. And look at that beautiful color screen. Brand new, new, old stock. The video is probably not doing it justice, but it looks amazing. No dead pixels. Looks great. So yeah, Super Monkey Island. Pretty cool. I'm just going to reboot out of here. Reboot in the machine, control alt delete. It's got 48 megabyte of RAM. I believe this can be upgraded to 80 megabyte. It'd be pretty cool to be able to do that at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the DOS again and bring up something else on here. No networking. Go back into games and let's bring up lemmings oh, we want vga uh, pc compatible and there is lemmings pretty awesome so again chris thank you for this laptop and I hope you enjoy this DOSember video. Why I wanted to showcase this laptop is it's running DOS, it's DOSember. And I want to also thank my Patreon supporters. Shout out to my patrons. Patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.